Let's bring the discussion back home now. Talk about March the 19th of the Nigeria Professional Football League. I love everything that went down over the weekend. What a story. I thought it was going to be easy for Aimba. It wasn't. I thought it would be easy for MFM. It wasn't. I didn't even think Delta, Delta Force can go and even score a goal in Medjugorje. They scored two. Let me run through uh, March the 19th result. Aimba, they were held at home by Wikitoris. 1-1. One, one. That one ended. Quara United, still waiting for Coach uh, Bala Abubakar to come back to his post. Uh, couldn't win at home to Rivers United. So uh, it's looking like dangerous times for Quara United now. They need to start winning. Lobby Stars defeated Enugu Rangers by a single goal. Bendel Insurance, they need all the wins that they can get now to stay uh, in the top division. And yes, they did just start against Katsina United. They won 2-1. Sunshine Stars won. Ninja Tornado 0. MFM. And Remo Stars ended 1-1 with loads of talking points about the referees officiating. Uh, Remo Stars scored a goal uh, that has been alleged to be a pure goal, uh, but the, the ref, the fourth of the linesman said it was called for uh, offside. So uh, that one has got in almost every full hour of the league uh, talking. So tomorrow I'm going to have my analyst around. We're going to analyze that match because, yes, I've got... An amateur video of that one. We'll talk about it. Uh, in Group B, Aqua United, they are spilling away. Yeah, they want, they want to actually uh, crown up their, their glory in that group. They defeated Yobi Desert Stars. And, 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 and Nef York scored arguably the fastest goal that the league has ever witnessed. In 15 seconds, they scored that goal for Aqua United to give them a 1-0 win over Yobe Desert Stars, who, by the way, the league management company, they have confirmed that Yobe Desert Stars have been relegated to the Nigeria National League. Kano Pillars 2, go round, zero. El Kanemi Warriors in Medjugorje, zero. Delta Force, two. I'll say it again. Don't touch your TV screen. There's nothing wrong. El Kanemi in Medjugorje, zero. Delta Force, two. El Kanemi Warriors, they had that home dominance for 1,139 days. They did not lose a game at home. Delta Force went there and shattered that record. Fantastic. Play two United, two. Nasarawa United won. <laughs> Another beautiful story. Abia Warriors went to Okigwe to defeat Heartland by four goals to two. <laughs> beautiful times in the Nigeria Professional Football League. Uh, today, Gombe United... Uh, defeated FC Ifanyoba by a single goal. That's what it is with league football in Nigeria. And we love it so much. A confirmation once again of that story. The league management company, they have confirmed that Yobe Desert Stars have been relegated to the Nigeria National League. Let me run through the Group A at table. Enugu Rangers, despite that loss to Lobby Stars, they're still on top of the table with 34 points. We're still Lobby chasing them. Say Imba also chasing them. But let's, let's go down because uh, four teams will drop. See, Wiki Tories, see, Quara United, Niger Tornadoes, and Remo Stars. So Bendel Insurance looking safe, but, but look at it. It's 27, 26, 25, 24, 24, 21. So from now till the end of the season, everyone needs to pick points that will actually uh, make sure that they're fine. In Group B, there's no touching... Aqua United. After that win over Yobe Desert Stars, I think they need about just one more win to confirm that yes, they are, uh, they are winners of that group. Kano Pillars also are doing good uh, with 31 points. El Kanemi, despite that loss to Delta Force, uh, they are third on the table. But see what that win did for Delta Force now. Just look at them right there on the log. Uh, just in case you're wondering where did Delta Force come from, they replaced Kada City uh, in the league. So Delta Force and that fantastic win in Medjugri over El Kanemi Warriors. Now, look at it right there. Um, look at how difficult it is to say who will go down in this Group B table. See, go around, see Abia Warriors uh, on 24, see Gombe United on 21, and Yobe Desert Stars already confirmed that they have been relegated to the NNL. So that's it. It's the Nigeria Professional Football League. It's our own football. We love it so much. And every night on this show, I invite you to start working with us so that you support us the way you support Chelsea and Arsenal. You'll love it because Nigeria, we've got the talent to play football. Let's go 
on this final break. When we come back, Manchester City, they're champions of the English Premier League. They did the back-to-back -back stuff the champions do. Don't go anywhere, I'll tell you. Stay. Welcome back, Sports Tonight on Channels Television. Final home stretch now. I was telling you about the beautiful stories going down in the Nigeria Professional Football League. Match Day 19 really got us smiling because you guys come to my page and say, Austin, we don't have the way wins in the Nigeria Premier League. That's not true. Yes, that's not true. Meiduguri, the home of um, El Kanemi Warriors, they don't lose there. Delta Force went there and won 2-0. Abia Warriors travel to Okigwe to beat Heartland 4-2. And it's not just this season alone. We've seen what about 10 away victories. So someone tells me, oh, it's not competitive. Only the home teams win and all of that. No, that's why I want you to start following the league now. It's interesting. Yobe Desert Stars, after putting together just 15 points from 19 matches, they have been relegated to the Nigeria National League. Now, let's talk about the Nigeria National League because... Uh, teams will be promoted from that league to the MPFL. And teams that are relegates from the MPFL will go to the Nigeria National League. Match the five results from the Northern Conference, EFCC 3, Kaduna United 0. Kada City, I told you, they replaced Delta. They, they left the league for Delta Force and went to the NNL. That was where Delta Force was before. Uh, and they defeated NAF by a single goal. Match the five, Northern Conference, Jigawa Golden Stars three, Kogi United uh, won, and the match was abandoned. So, waiting for the NNL to bring up decision on that one. FC Yama Light two, Taraba FC won. Bimo lost at home to Real, to Real Stars by a single goal, and of course, Green Beret also defeated Road Safety 1 0. CAWA wins in the Nigeria League, Adamara United three, Mighty Jets zero, Akrosendi two, ABS. Uh, football Club 0, Sokoto United 2, Giordano FC 1. Southern Conference, Stationary Stars and Jersey United played goalless. 36 Lions defeated Aqua Starlets 2-1. D Sapele Lions and J Atete played 1-1. Dynamite FC 2, Inewi United 0, still in the Southern Conference. Ekiti United 1, Calabar Rovers 0. Lamry United defeated Warrior Wolves by 2 goals to 1. Ibom Youth FC 3. Crown FC of Obumosho won. That's in the Nigeria National League match day five results. Let's go to England now, where Manchester City received the heroes' welcome back at their Etihad Stadium after wrapping up the first back to back Premier League title in a decade. Yes, 10 years, no team has done it, but Pep Guardiola and his team, they did it in style on the final day. The players danced and sang on stage as players took turns at lifting the trophy to huge chairs from hundreds of fans that gathered to welcome back their team amid a vibrant party atmosphere with fireworks dominating the skyline. City will look to complete a domestic treble next Saturday when they face Watford in the FA Cup final. So it's like, no. Pep is not giving up. Yeah, he wanted a quadruple, but it didn't happen with the Champions League. So he's just going to go for the treble. They won the Carabao Cup. Now they have the league title. And on Saturday, they'll be playing the FA Cup final. Wow, what a story. We had this season. The top two, that's Manchester City and Liverpool. Together, they amassed 195 points. A top flight record for the champions and also the runners-up. They actually passed the previous Premier League record in their 36th games of the season. They also recorded the most combined win, 62 wins for a top two. Wow. Wow. What a story. Manchester City and Liverpool, they played arguably the best football that I've seen in the English Premier League for a long time. But do you know, for me, who won the league? Africa won the league because Pierre Emerick Aubameyang uh, from Gabon and plays for Arsenal, Sadio Mane from Senegal plays for Liverpool, and Mo Salah from Egypt and plays for Liverpool. They both, the three of them shared the Golden Boot Awards, scored 22 goals each, and right there for me is the real 
Premier League title and Africa lifted it. That's where we'll wrap up this edition of Sports Tonight on Channels Television. Keep talking to us, yes, because so much is still going down on our world of sports on Twitter, channels underscore sports, Facebook channels, I think sports. That's the show for the team. I'm Austin O'Connor, man, and everything you do, remember, let's keep talking sports. Bye for now. <laughs>